Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dan from eSports Healthcare here to discuss the signs and symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome. There are two forms of thoracic outlet syndrome. The first is neurogenic and the second is vascular. In the neurogenic form, there's compression of the brachial plexus nerve bundle, whereas in the vascular form, there's compression of the subclavian artery. Both cases may be present However, the neurogenic is far more common. In either form, we may notice symptoms of numbness and tingling, where there's a change in sensation down either arm. We may also notice weakness or rapid fatigue, where your arms tire more easily, or one arm fatigues faster than the other. Only in the neurogenic form can we see muscle wasting. However, this is only if the compression of the nerve is severe or chronic enough. Only in the vascular form may we notice that the skin can appear a pale or light blue discoloration or may feel cool or cold to the touch. Both forms of thoracic outlet syndrome may get worsened in their symptoms if you pull the shoulder down and back or with other bouts of poor posture. You may notice the symptoms are relieved with a warm up or light to moderate activity. In summary, there are two forms of thoracic outlet syndrome, neurogenic and vascular. Both forms can present with numbness, tingling, weakness, or rapid fatigue in either arm. In the neurogenic form, we may see muscle wasting, whereas in the vascular form, we may notice the skin is pale or cool to the touch. Both forms are worsened with poor posture, and symptoms are relieved with a light warm-up. For more information on thoracic outlet syndrome, check out our website at esportshealthcare.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at esports underscore health. Thank you for watching and see you next time.